Okay, guys. Today is the day. Well, today isn't the day, but today is an exciting day. I am driving five hours to Ottawa to hopefully add something new to the channel. I've been looking for one of these things for a long time, and it's very hard to find one that's in this good of condition, so I'm just hoping that this thing runs as good as it looks. There are a few things it will need here and there, but it gives me something to do considering there is nothing to do considering we're supposed to stay at home. So, hopefully this works out. And I'll be able to show you guys later when the thing is in the back of my truck. So, I'm just gonna limit myself. I got my cooler full of drinks and I'm gonna try not to drink all of them. I just wanna get there, get the thing, and get back as quick as I can without getting in trouble. By that, I mean getting a speed ticket, so I'm using my cruise control. Because we don't need those. I already know it's not perfect. I've been told it's not perfect. If I can ride it for the season and then work on it in the winter time, great. And I'm really hoping I can get the brakes to actually work on this thing. Okay, well, normally I'm excited when it comes to this kind of stuff. I am literally just up the street now. And I've got a little bit of a weird feeling about this. I'm just hoping it's a good one. In 300 meters, turn right. I guess we're about to find out. Well, boys. I was a little bit anxious, but there she is. I made sure to take the seat off and I took the side panels off because I didn't want to lose them on my way home, but that's what I drove five hours to get. 1985 Honda Big Red 250 ES. Kickstart, electric start. Thing runs, doesn't smoke like a chimney. Uh, it's not the stock exhaust on it, but it's still pretty quiet. Uh, these are new, newer uh, Mayer plastics on it. it has the lockbox. Uh, tank's in decent shape, I believe that's original. Um, the switch is a little questionable because the guy before uh, me had a, um, I guess an issue with the thing not running. But, it was just something stupid and this guy had gotten it running, so I'm going to put that switch back together and get the headlights working on it and uh, just go around and check out the bolts because uh, some of them were loose on the casing on the other side. And, uh, yeah, maybe change the oil. That is a little bit of a concern because that's leaking, but I knew... Um, I knew that before and getting into this and I actually got this thing a little bit less than what I had expected to pay for it so yeah I'll do more detail on this later uh, when I get it home and get it all put back together and we'll see about maybe taking it for a rip or just getting into it and start taking it apart and fixing this thing up the way I want it to there are a few more concerns I have but uh, I'll explain those in another video. So yeah, five hours away in uh, Renfrew, and it's starting to rain, and I need to make that long trek back. And now we know a 250 Big Red does not fit in the back of my truck, so just got some straps in there holding the tailgate back, and then I got a strap over the bike, so I don't really think it's going to go anywhere. Oh, God. I think it's something like 10.30 now. Um, I finally made it back to the 401. Just stopped at the Trenton en route. Grab a five-hour energy shot because due to the shitty weather, me not being able to see, I'm not going to make it home until 2.30 now. So, might as well knock this back.
Hmm. Actually, that one didn't taste too bad. Normally, they taste nasty. Oh, Jesus. I'm not even going to unload this thing when I get home. I'm just going to pull in the driveway and go to bed. I'll deal with it in the morning. And take a closer look at all the things I'm going to have to deal with now. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Why do I get the feeling this might be another pain in my ass? Hilton, downtown, Bradford, airport. Final stretch. An hour to get home. I was gonna say, for it being a Saturday during the pandemic, I was surprised at how many cars I saw on the road. But, I did not once encounter any traffic jam. So that's pretty awesome. And I think I've only spent $60 in gas. Thanks to the ridiculously cheap prices I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. So, yeah. Almost home. And then they get some much needed sleep. And then go over that thing tomorrow. And at some point I gotta address this. Because this has been taken apart. I have the back half of the switch. The guy, not the guy I bought it off of, but the guy before him, couldn't get it running, so he decided he'd take this apart and cross these two wires down here. Well, those two wires are for the kill switch. And what does the kill switch do when the circuit's completed? Yeah. That thing's a chain drive. You just take the chain off, boom. Take the exhaust off, the engine comes out. This thing's got a shaft and a much heavier transmission, I'm gonna guess. I don't know. Could be worse. Hopefully we find out what's uh, wrong with the head tomorrow. Well, I decided to make use of the chain fall and uh, get a better look at this thing underneath because of that sloppy foot peg there. Well, I took a look underneath and I do not like what I see. Let's see if I can get a shot of it under here. Over here, the frame looks sort of fine. It's a bit deteriorated around here. But over here, this has been broken before and rewelded. And somebody's put a bolt with a bunch of washers and stuff as a spacer here to bolt this foot peg back on. And even back here, the frame's got some weld in it too. And it's cracked back here as well. In the meantime, tightening those bolts up, I should be able to ride this thing around without having to weld all that, but we'll see what happens. I might wire wheel and weld this up in the morning before heading over to buddies, or I might say screw it, hope for the best, throw some oil in it, and hopefully this thing doesn't catch on fire on the way over there. Remember when I said I hope this isn't going to be a pain in my ass? This is a pain in my ass. So, small update on this. I got all the plastics off of it. Stripping it right down to get this engine out and get the frame done up. Once the engine's out, we'll figure out what's going on. Realizing that these up here are bolts, not studs, I get the feeling they probably could have cross-threaded that in or cracked the head or done something horrible. So, I'm really hoping I'm not going to have to buy a new head for this, but... Something interesting I noticed, there's a little prop rod here. Well, I figured I put two and two together with the fenders. If you take out the side bolts on these fenders and you leave the back ones attached, then the whole back 
uh, piece just flips right up like a hood on a dump truck and that's your prop rod to hold it up while you do work on the back of it. I never knew that. But that wouldn't have worked anyways because the one side's here and this piece is broke off. So I'm going to have to weld that back on. Well, I'm happy to say stage one of the big red project is finally done. The frame has been patched and reinforced on both sides. This thing was actually really bad. Right here and right there were really rotten because Honda thought it was a great idea to put a piece of tin as a support on each of these sides. And it wasn't fully welded, so mud just got in there and sat for all those years and rotted it away. So we got rid of that, put those in there. And we welded some flat bar underneath here on both sides. So once the engine goes in, this thing should be pretty freaking strong. So now it's on to the next step, and that will be to sand the rest of this and give it a nice new coat of paint. So hello from 2021. So at the time that this video is actually getting uploaded, it's going to be the new year. We're still in a pandemic dumpster fire. And I've finally been able to actually ride that three-wheeler. So as you saw so far in the video, the frame was shot. Now you might wonder why I didn't just swap out the frame. Well, the reason I bought that three-wheeler was because the VIN on the frame and the ownership matched and I need an ownership so that I can go do cross-border events like Trike Fest, for example, which is something I would love to attend this year, but I'm not holding my hopes high because we still have the goddamn coronavirus to deal with. So that might not happen. So anyways, there was that. That's the reason I went through that. Um, once we got the frame finished and I started to put everything back together, we had to do swing arm bushings. That's why the thing dog tracked. We did all the bearings and the differential because we figured might as well. We're this far into it. We had to do axle seals and axle bearings because the axle was full of mud. These guys obviously beat the crap out of this thing and didn't care about it at all. Then when we took the rear tires off, we couldn't get the left side hub off. We actually had to use an impact gun on setting forward to get it off because these morons impacted the castle nut on with a lock washer on behind it because they didn't use a cotter pin in the castle nut and the castle nut backed off. The axle tore the splines out of the hub and I had to find a new left hub. And of course, Honda doesn't make reproduction parts. So that was a pain in the ass. Luckily, I knew a friend who had a friend who sold me a hub. So we got that in there. And then we had to address the oil leaking out of the head of the engine problem. Well, it's because these guys snapped the studs off in the head and they drilled it out. And when they drilled it out, they drilled on an angle and hit the oil jacket. So that explains why the oil was leaking out of it. 
So how we how did we fix that? We took a helicoil kit, put a helicoil in one, replaced the stud, and then the other one, we put a shit ton of JB weld on the stud and rammed the thing into what remaining threads were left in there, sealed it up, no more leaks. However, the problem was since we basically used the existing hole, the studs were kind of like that, so we had to modify the exhaust flange so that the bolt and the flange would actually go flush and the bolt wasn't just kind of going straight in and being like this part of the bolt's making contact and there's no contact here which would just cause the stud to snap so we figured that out uh what else did we do oh and then once we actually got to the point that we could drive the thing again uh I switched out the tires because the swamp light on the front of it that they had was really bald and at that time we did front axle bearings and seals and then we put a set of uh, fairly new swamp lights on the back and that's when we found out that the clutches were screwed so we had to do new shims and fibers and of course they didn't stay out of there because you could see where they took a chisel and a hammer and slammed the nut because they didn't have the proper size socket so they just decided to mash that nut to get that loose and as we were taking things apart inside there some things came apart that shouldn't have come apart because they were already loose you could see where it was wearing irregularly on some of the components inside there so that was great and then once we got that done we addressed the problem that the battery would constantly keep going dead. Uh, the reason for that was they had the wrong size magnet on the stator so it wasn't charging right. And then once we dealt with that, I've been able to ride the machine for, since August, I've been riding it since August and it's been all right up to this point anyways. Uh, and then I had to most recently change the right hub because we were so focused on worrying about the left hub. Uh, the right hub was uh, kind of on its way out and it took out the seal so we had to do axle seals again. And I did kind of have the plan to restore this machine at the beginning because I wanted a nice 1985 250 Big Red with everything working properly on it as it should but after all the time and money I've put into this one and after reinforcing the frame I'm just using this one as a rider and I'm gonna ride the crap out of this thing.